A few years ago, in the United States, a man put on a mask, took a bat, and he went in to rob a grocery store. But the man behind the counter in this store was a Muslim. So the shopkeeper, the Muslim, he pulled out a gun from behind the counter. And now this man who had the bat, the robber, he knew he was in trouble because now he has brought a bat to a gunfight. So the Muslim came around the counter, pointed the gun. And the robber, the man, he put his bat down and he started begging, saying, please don't hurt me. I don't want to hurt you. I only came, I only came to take your money because I have no job and my family is starving. And I came to get some money to buy some food for my family. Please don't hurt me. Don't shoot me. So the Muslim shopkeeper, he said to him, if you promise never to do anything like this again, I will help you. So the man said, I promise I will never do this again. The shopkeeper went to the cash register. He took out $40. He gave the man the money. Then he went and he got some bread and some other food and he gave the man the food. And he said, here, take it. You may go. I won't call the police. So the man, he was so moved by this kindness, by this forgiveness. He said, I want to be like you. Tell me what I need to do. I would like to also become a Muslim. The man said, repeat after me. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. The man repeated these words. And then he left. But one year later, he wrote a letter to this man saying, I want to thank you for what you did that day. You gave me back my life. You gave me back my dignity. And I want to tell you that one year later, I'm still a Muslim. And I say, Alhamdulillah, for that day that I came and I met you. This is not a fairy tale. You can see the video yourself. The CCTV camera from the shop. All of it is on YouTube. You can see for yourself. Some would say that man should have killed that robber. The Muslim should have killed that robber. And then everyone would know if you try to rob a Muslim, this is what will happen to you. But this man, he didn't do that. He followed the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Idfa billati hiya ahsan. Repel evil with that which is better. And look at the result.